Hi guys, it's Shauna J. Ray. I'm back, I have a new video for you guys. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time and I think I finally just got like the perfect long wear test. <laughs> but I've always wanted to do uh, what's in my bag, what's in my purse video for you guys because I think that I carry some like interesting things very interesting things in my purse usually and being a mom it's gotten bigger there's more things that I think I need to carry on top of all the other little things that I do I needed a bag where I could just throw it on my back and have my computer my phone you know everything in it if I need it for blogging for content creation in general now my main reason and this sounds really really vain but my main reason for not making one of those videos is because I always had really crappy material for my purses. So I've been wanting a nicer bag for like the longest time. I'm so happy that Park and Faith gifted me this beautiful bag and I'm so happy because it's actually vegan leather. So I am so glad that this one's actually vegan leather and it has similar durability to regular leather without the cruelty. So I'm so happy about that. And it's so cute in this pretty blush color. So I was really drawn to that part with the pretty gold features, but I'm gonna show you guys what I carry in my bag. Uh, this is actually a diaper bag. Like, is this not the most stylish diaper bag? Bag. like so this thing is awesome I'm gonna show you guys the ins and out and then I needed to try tidy up my purse anyway so I'm gonna show you how I pack all of these things in here and do a little purse tidy so guys when I was gifted this bag I was like I want to know if this really can stand you know withstand me yeah like a trial test right that's what you call it like everything that I own is like rose gold like this pinky rosy pink color all, everything I own like if I can find it in rose gold I have it in rose gold so I was so happy that I got to get this one. They actually have several colors. They have um, uh, brown and black, and I think they even have like an olive color now. But they actually have a whole bunch of new bags out. They actually have a mini version of this one. So at the moment, I've had this this bag for almost a year now, like for real, like almost if not a year. And as you guys can see, it is standing up perfectly like it's so cute you can see that it's pretty weighty I've got a lot in here like I said this is supposed to be a diaper bag so it's meant to hold like bottles and everything like that y'all are gonna be amazed what you can put in here and I even sometimes use this on my overnight bag that's how much space is in here but let me show you guys let me just I guess I'm gonna go from the outside in so all of the things that are on the outside the first so first pocket you'll see here is this little clip one but i have so much stuff in this front pocket right here that it just sticks out there's nothing in this one so on the front pocket right here in this zipper part right here but this um so this little puff right here does not come with it but i bought something and it came with it as a keychain so i just hung it on there's actually like a little loop here and i'm i'm assuming that's what it's for like little decorations or like your key so one of the first things that is in the front pocket is my to-go wipe you can get like a little pack of them from any store on amazon or anything like that i will link them in the description as well then I have my makeup bag. I'm actually gonna make a separate video for what's in this makeup bag, as well as all my makeup because I actually have like another container full of makeup. So click the like button if y'all wanna see that. I actually, the other day I found some wrap toothpicks. So they were already wrapped, so I was like, well that's really sanitary, I like that. I need to put them in like probably the makeup bag or something. This is actually a part of my selfie stick. This is the, actually the part that holds my phone. I have options with my selfie stick. And this is a new eyeshadow palette that I just received. I got it in my Pinch Me box. If y'all are on my Instagram, y'all can go follow. It's Shauna J. Ray, where I actually got this in my Pinch Me box, and I love the color. I'm like a, a very like browns and golds kind of person when it comes to my day makeup. All the different colors, the mattes and the shimmers, and it has a beautiful, vibrant, mauvey, purpley color. So this is actually by Koki Cosmetics. And so I have one of these guys. This shows you how long I've had one of these. Passed by these and I refuse to buy a new one because I still have this. But this is like one of those little on the go manicure kits and it has scissors, it has tweezers, this little, cuticle pusher thing. It had something else right here, but I've, also, I've obviously lost them. You'll find these at the dollar store all the time, but I do like to carry like a small thing of scissors with me because you know, I just have times where I like need to cut something. And then the tweezers, I've, you know, kids get a splinter or something. My husband knows to ask me, 
because I have like crazy stuff in my purse, like for just like random stuff that has just happened to me in life. That's why my purse just keeps getting bigger. I've used this like a tool, like these little things like a screwdriver, whatever. This has its many uses. Also, you can do your nails on the go. And then of course, uh, like a receipt, like a packing receipt or something like that. Like that's why I need to clean this purse up. And these side pockets. Okay, there's nothing in there right now. I actually have a bottle of CBD oil in the side pocket. So then on the back, there is another uh, pocket right here. I don't think I have anything in here. Oh, I have lip gloss. I was looking for that lip gloss, but usually this one's right up against your back. So usually I would put like a book, a small book, or um, if you have like papers or documents or anything, you can just slide them down here. So then there is this pocket. This is actually a pocket. This is not for decoration. So this is like um, if you needed like maybe, I don't know, quick access to cards or like something for your baby. Those are the outside pockets. So you can see there's like a ton of pockets just on the outside here. And I'm just gonna start pulling things out. You guys are gonna see how I put everything into the pockets when I reorganize it. So now I'm gonna delve inside the bag. So, so there are these little buttons right here that I usually keep them open because I'm just jamming stuff in there all day. Like I cannot get over how well this thing has kept up. Okay, so the stuff that's on top, let me, Mar my Mary Poppins bag, give me a second. <sighs> okay, I cracked myself up with that. If you didn't laugh, then fine, but it made me laugh. So this is actually my vlogging camera. She's kind of a big girl because most people carry like the cute little compact ones. And when this one came out, I was like, it looks like my big DSLR. And I was like, it does more than just the little ones. I was like, oh, and it costs the same. So I was like, the new one, this is like at the time when I bought it, it just came out and I was like, okay, cool. That's perfect. So yeah, it has the flip out rotatable camera. Uh, what is this screen? Wow. It's got the removable lens. So you can actually switch out. I just realized I never did a review on this uh, or an unboxing. I usually try to do an unboxing on my, um, you know, my fun stuff when I get it, but I didn't do an unboxing to this. So click the like button if you want to see a review on this because I absolutely love this camera. And attached to it, remember I told you I have a selfie stick in here. So this selfie stick actually mounts to my my camera. And then I have this little piece that like screws onto it just the same. And the reason why I wanted one of these, this is very strong. As you can see, it's very, very strong, like, like thick and sturdy here, but it's actually a tripod. So I believe it's like 40 something. See, there's a little thing. And I think it's like three feet tall, something like that. And it's not meant to have a, ca a camera this big, but it actually, you know, s does pretty well on it. Doesn't wobble too much or anything like that. So if you have a smaller camera, you'll be good. Yeah, it's just compact as you can see. I it actually has a re uh, removable remote that actually is like in its own little, its own little casing that just fits on it. So when you actually have your phone, you can actually use the remote like this and then you can set it down, walk away from it and click, click, click just the same. So I thought that was really cool. Had this for over a year as well. And the other thing that I liked about this rotating head is that it goes sideways actually like this. Let's see what else I pull out. Oh, so here is my portable speaker. It's my waterproof speaker. I actually got this at Aldi's. This is by Bon. Is that Bon? B-A-U-H-N? Bon. But it's a really simple, um, simple little outdoor Bluetooth mic. Uh, I wanted one, like my husband has the JBL. He has like a really nice JBL. His is a little bit bigger than this one, but it's, you know, basically the size of like uh, one of those big boy soda cans, Arizona can, like that size. And this one is supposed to be able to get like a certain type of loudness when it's outside, there's a mode button. So I got that, I paid I think $40 at Aldi's for this, but I'm just gonna like leave a, just a link in the description of where you can get similar ones. And it has like the touchscreen fast forward and everything like that. And it has like a little dial for the, the volume speaker on the other side. I really like the fact that you can actually sit it up this way and there's little rubber feet at the bottom so the, the sound comes out the bottom or you actually have little ribs ridges right here so you can set it this way and then the sound comes out from all over. Seen anywhere else and it gets pretty loud. I like to take this thing to the beach and to the pool and it's, it's perfect and I literally can fit it. I don't always carry it with me as much anymore because I have so much in this purse but this is something that fits in with everything else. Okay, so I have my little notes journal uh, this is actually like a pleather bound zipper book 
and you actually can replace, oh I just zipped it up. You can actually replace the book on the inside. So I got this from Five Below and if I can find it, this is actually, like I said, this part is removable so this case keeps it protected because I used to carry around paper notebooks with me and you know they get ratty on the ends and stuff like that but I don't need like the whole big thick planner. So this was actually perfect and it's a big enough size where I can actually get all my thoughts out on paper. So this is like my daily to do. Um, I'll bring this out at night or in the morning and like go run my errands and look through it and see what I need to do. I just put like daily stuff that I need to get done on it um, or just things out of my head, brain dump and things like that. But yeah, it zips up, protects the inside. So actually the one it came with, I uh, took that one out. I actually was already writing in this book I had gotten from the dollar store. The dollar store always has these books that are, I mean, I don't know, like eight by five. I think these are like eight by five books and it fits perfectly in here. And then I got this uh, friction pen. So the reason why I like these is because in college I used to buy these all the time at the bookstore and they're like $3 for one or $5 for like a pack of two of them. But you can actually erase and they come in different colors. So I write with the blue one, which actually matches the book. It says notes right there, you can't see it. You know, it's blue-green-esque or whatever. These write so well. They're like gel ink pens. And it doesn't have one of those little loops for your pens, but you see that's how it just holds the book in place. And you can put basically any dollar store book in this and it's just gonna be protected by this. And this has been in my purse. It is a little bit like grimy right now. Like it's like, I don't know, it needs to be wiped down, but it's pleather from Five Below and it's held up quite nicely. All right, so this is like a little bit mashed up. I need to get like a little case to carry this in. I'm like so like bags and cases for everything. Like I don't have a case for this for some reason, why? But I always buy at the dollar store or Walmart, I buy the little pack of Kleenex. My mom got me into this habit when I was really, really young when I carried a purse since I was like eight, nine years old, she always gave me a little pack of these. You do that, but it's in a little case or like a little bag so it doesn't get like messed up. But it's not, they're not dirty. They're just like getting ripped up. So I usually get the girls some so I can start them young. So one of my other things is my power bank. And of course, like I said, guys, it's rose gold. It's So this one is 10,400 mAh. I don't know how you say that properly, but it's that, that's the capacity. And the way I always think of it is like how many times it charges my phone. So if I'm not mistaken, this is from Black Web. I got this from Walmart for $20 at Walmart. It has two USB ports on it. And then right next to it has the um, charging port for it. It has an LCD readout for your percentage and how full it is and it has an on and off button. But yeah, so this one actually is supposed to charge my cell phone four times and charge a bigger tablet twice. And the one that says tablet is the stronger, um, faster port. Think of that, like if it doesn't at least charge my phone twice, I don't want it. Because if I'm out and about and I'm using my phone, vlogging or whatever, doing whatever, I need to be able to have extra capacity. And I actually have um, one of those battery cases on the back of my phone. And you know, sometimes I have to charge that or two ports so I'm able to charge two devices at once as well. So that's pretty awesome. Also with this one, you can't do this with all of them, but you can actually charge this and actually charge something while it's charging it. A candy container, I know it's like really weird, but I get these from like these warheads from Five Below and it's just like a plastic container and I have a thing about containers. So I always like just put like little whatever's in this because I can, but like, you know, oh, guys, look at this. God, I had this in here and now I have a little container for my toothpicks. I told you guys I was obsessed with containers for a reason. Oh my God, it fits it perfectly. It fits it freaking perfectly. Now I can offer people, hey, would you like a toothpick? This is the Warheads Extreme Sour Minis Hard Candy Container. So if you find these and you can find some toothpicks, some wrapped tooth, or just even plain toothpicks, but you know, this is more sanitary to have them wrapped on the inside too, if it's perfectly. If y'all didn't know, I wear glasses. I actually got my last set of glasses from Lingo. I love their glasses, their whole setup online and everything like that. Not sponsored, but I really love my glasses. I'll leave the links in the description. 
it actually comes in this amazing sturdy case and it's not a huge bulky case like the other ones that I used to get for my sunglass case like it's a block like a freaking brick but yeah like it came with this and it's like just the perfect size it's black and it fits right in there and my actual rose gold wallet guys it is from Walmart and this is what I was talking about when I was saying that I was so happy that I got something that was nice and durable but beautiful at the same time because I got this from Walmart probably the same time as I got this purse and all the rose gold metallic is like rubbed and chafed off on the corners on the bottom and let's see it's not really ripping I mean I got it from Walmart so everything's still pretty intact it's just like I said fraying and things like that wallet holds my money and my cards and this one has a change I like these type of wallets that fold like this and then it has an extra insert right here that flaps to the side and I actually keep my ID on it so when I can show it I go like this but yeah and it just clips right here and then it has the change um, pocket right here okay so what is this blob this is actually my on-the-go fanny pack below I actually originally bought this to be something to just to put my actual camera inside of the um, thing and like fold it up and put it in there but it was like too cumbersome when I was ready to use it and have to pull it out and all this but I kept this inside this out of my bag when I don't need my full purse I'm running around with the kids I need my hands free I don't need everything I can leave it in my car whatever you want to call it when we go to like theme parks and stuff simple but if it's my phone my wallet uh, lip gloss and I have an iPhone 8 plus so it's that it's big enough and has enough room to fit that in my thick wallet power bank along so because it, it you know gets pretty wide like it's perfect adjustable little strap right here okay so let me just get all these little things out right now okay some extra gum that i did not realize i still had and here is that little uh iPhone charger cord. Five Below actually has um, them. This one's a little bit shorter than the ones at Five Below because the ones at Five Below I think are a foot long. So they're like to here a little bit, but um, a short cord for your phone. So you can just plug it in. You don't have a whole bunch of wires everywhere. A extra car charger. So this one is really, really small. It's got two ports. Why do I carry a car charger when I have a car charger in my car? Well, sometimes I'm on the road with other people and I'm like, hey, can I charge my whatever? They either don't have a car charger, which is rare, or it's like one piece or they only have enough for, you know, just theirs and they need to charge their phone or, you know, whatever. Pure convenience or maybe my two devices. Just like a lot of reasons. I probably got this. I think I got this one from my mom. I really. So this, what is this little orange box? So this is my pill box. <laughs> so I have one of those like weak pill box planner things and it has a separate slot, a separate little container for each day. Just took one out and I carry two things on me. I carry my favorite CBD pills that I got. I literally got these off Amazon. They're amazing. Uh, they are I think 50 per capsule 6,000 for the actual bottle and helps me with headache back pain you know anxiety and like when I'm out and about I can actually take them so I love you know having that like I have the oil but like this is stronger than the oil that I my suggestion if you decide to grab these just be mindful because like the first time if you're like not doing anything and you take two it's not gonna hurt you or anything but like It'll get you really relaxed. You could fall asleep and not realize it. And that happened to me. Luckily, I was just like, you know, at home or whatever. And I was like, whatever, I'll take another one. So they can make you fall asleep. If you like need relaxation on like an airplane or something, this would probably be a good idea. You know, that's like, it gets you pretty like, okay. <sighs> and it's a lot in the container. Really inexpensive. Tons in the container. Like, these things are awesome. And then I carry uh, the Walgreens brand of... I know this is like counterproductive of like the natural remedy, but sometimes I get migraines that I just, nothing is helping. Nothing is freaking helping. Especially if I can't have one of these and a cup of coffee. Usually one of these and a cup of coffee, if available, will help a lot. And especially if I catch it early. But if I don't, if I don't have that ability, like, you know, the caffeine from the coffee or something caffeinated, like I prefer coffee. 
but this pill is just that this is this is a caffeine um this is one of the excedrin uh, extra strength and again i have a thing about cases oh my gosh i'm really now starting to like realize that like i love little like containers for everything because like why carry a whole pill bottle okay the other day i actually got these from amazon these are by love with two v's these are on the go essential oil diffusers these things are freaking awesome. I love diffusers. I literally have diffusers everywhere and I've been wanting some personal diffusers and I was so happy that I grabbed these the other day. This whole pack is only like $13 and they have lavender for relax. They have like a citrusy one called sunrise. That's for like perking you up a bit. Then they have a happy one. that has got a, like a mix of things. It comes in just like this little plastic bag and these screw down clothes, but I still don't, you know, just in case and they're just that much more contained but yeah they're just like you unscrew them and you just inhale real quick and you're good to go there my mom again thanks mom she got me into some good habits but she always had me carry sanitizer with me so i thought that that was like a thing like if you're gonna carry your purse my husband carries sanitizer on him in his bag but i think i don't know maybe i got him into that because i made him carry the little backpack anyway and he loves his backpack. I actually got this one from the dollar store and it had the little ring on it. So I had it like in one of my side pockets. But these are so perfect because you can refill them. You can just take the top off and refill them. But I have everybody carry one of these on them. I plan on refilling it with my homemade version of a Thieves essential oil aloe vera gel. And you just mix it up and it's basically like a few drops of Thieves in there. And I'll squirt it in here when this is done. and a short like this is like the foot long android cord like my devices and stuff are android i used to carry um like a three foot long dual headed one that had like the iphone charger and this on it but it broke so i have an apple watch and this is actually a dual headed charger i figured for like when i go places overnight as well because sometimes you know you spend, spend the day at your friend's house whatever um, I needed something that I could just plug in my phone and like set it and forget it. So this one actually is a dual headed one for your phone and your watch. I have one of the power banks attached to the back. So I have my, oh it's a little dusty, my AirPods. So I bought these on Amazon. They are not AirPods. They are a knockoff brand on Amazon. They work great. They work amazing. I love them. One does not fit in my ear properly. And... It does not fit my ear properly and I was doing something and I knocked it into the toilet and I flushed it by accident. Yeah. So yeah, but they're like almost the same size as AirPods, but I bought one of those like rubber little things and I just pulled it up over it. That's why you can still see the white right here. And I needed something that had like a chain to it. That's actually what this came, this little fuzzy ball came with. These came together and it actually came with like a chain, not a chain, but like a little rubber that I should have been wearing that night. But yeah, one thing in my ear, it knocked out one ear smaller than the other. So if you don't have that problem, these are freaking great. There, when you open it, it automatically connects to my, my phone. So I don't have to worry about it. It connects before I even pull them out and it's freaking great. They're fast, they work, they work independently. I really, really like these. I'm gonna have to get a new pair because I flushed one on the toilet. What? But the AirPod knockoffs were like $50 and then the case with all the little cute things. It actually came with little rubber things to cover for my ear and I couldn't use them because you can't close the case with them on. So it was just like, that sucked, but I need to figure something out. Maybe I'll just try some new one. The case part was about 7 or $8, so not so bad. So what is this raggedy little bag? This is not a makeup bag. This is actually my medicine bag. I actually carry like little bottles of diffuse of uh, essential oils with me. Um, most of them are watered down and diluted already, but I have a whole bunch of like little bottles. So I carry this one's like a thieves. I I use Young Living and Now brand, and um, usually I just fill this back up and keep it moving. But I have the thieves. This is like the mixture for like sickness and germs and things like that. I use this one called Abundance. I actually like to put it into my car diffuser. Yes, I have a diffuser in my car. Like I said, guys, I have diffusers every freaking wear. So I put this, this is Abundance. This is like 
you know, just positivity and things like that and thinking that way. And I love the way it smells. I use it as perfume sometimes. Then I have purification. This is actually like a lemongrass, uh, Young Living calls it purification, but it's like lemongrass and a few other things. But it takes away smells, everything like that. And it also wards off mosquitoes. So I love keeping this. We have mosquitoes and don't, you know, splash us with this. Uh, lip balm, Carmex lip balm, colloidal oatmeal health. And this one's lavender, that's self-explanatory. Lavender is good on cuts and scrapes and, you know, putting the kids to calm down. And then I have a big bottle of cedarwood because this actually, this is the smallest bottle I can put it in. Well, it's good for putting kids to sleep and getting them relaxed even more than just the lavender or using it together with the lavender. I will talk about those two because it just, it's relaxing. This to me smells so good. I love cedarwood oil smell. And actually, little hack, and this is actually really, really good for putting on, if you snore, if you're, your significant other snores. I put two, three drops on my, my husband's foot, the sole of his foot before he goes to bed. And the snoring, if he does snore, it's very, very light. I really need to upgrade the little makeup case, but this one has like a little bit of padding onto it. I think I got it at like Goodwill. That's what I usually do. Get a few of these at Goodwill. Um, it's soft, it's you know pliable. I do need to get one that will hold them, like the little cushion box, but I really don't want anything too big and I don't want anything too solid. So I actually have a spare key to my husband's car and this cute little thing that this was in, but I guess it fell out. But I needed a keychain to put his on as well as my Libby clip. This thing's awesome. I just don't like to have it out because I was like, I realized that I could get it like really dirty. So, and my daughter kept, I had it on the front and my daughter kept taking it out. All right, so the last stuff I have in here, two things. I have my Derme Lavender, um, Vitamin E Lavender and Neroli therapeutic shea hand moisture cream this stuff makes your hands so freaking soft and it's already in like a nice small bottle and what's in my mystery pouch it's got a little cord. what's in here actually is a muscle stimulator uh, for like pain so one time I get like a sh I get like stress in my shoulder and like nothing seems to help unless you like need it out and I was at my friend's house one day and he actually has one it was about the size of my iPhone 6 or smaller than my iPhone 6 and I was like oh my god this is amazing this is great I wish I had one of these and so I immediately, <laughs> I immediately went on Amazon I was like I have to find one these things are so amazing so I grabbed this one I just found like you know whatever it was like $25 and it comes with a handful of the so this is like little sticky pads it comes with different size variations of these little pads that have the, like the jelly on it and you just stick it to your skin this is like a little thing that it comes with so you can have it on a clean surface and you just press it back in there i keep everything in its little pouch it's freaking awesome it's got a very long cord it actually comes with a couple of cords a couple of the pads and everything so it's just a muscle stimulator you literally just slap the little pads on it can actually hold it has two uh, separate ones you can put four pads on and it has different massaging features where it just it electronically stimulates the muscle and you can actually see it like moving and jumping and like flexing and everything like that you feel it you can change the settings and like it literally feels like somebody's giving you like a shiatsu massage or whatever where it's like kneading it out there's different strengths and modes it's freaking awesome it has a digital readout so it like lights up and everything you change the time adjustment and everything charge this thing twice in like a year so that's everything that's inside my bag guys so now it's time to show you how i actually put everything in here all the inside pockets it has a ton of pockets inside and out so let's get inside so guys my bag is all cleaned out and here is just the inside view of the bag so there is a little zipper pocket here like any other bag there's a little zipper pocket here like any other bag it's about half my hands depth and about a palm's length wide zips right there has this good reinforcement around the edge so you don't get that ripping by the zipper I used to get that all the time and then it's got a nice little pocket here that you can just slip things into and it has like a little thing. This is like a whole hand's length deep than the bottom. So there's actually quite a few pockets on the inside. There are one uh, elastic pocket on the inside of each side. And then there are 
two pockets like that on the inside of them. That's where you can have your organization and then the open in the middle and these two pockets here. So I'm gonna show you how I put everything back in my bag. So starting back with the front. So I keep my makeup bag, my manicure kit. I have had this loose in my purse, so I think I'm just gonna roll this up and stick it in the side here, right here, and see if that holds so that it's not too thick, it's not too much thicker than it was last time. My toothpicks case, my new little case, right there, that should be good for the front. Okay, so my little notes book. I just open this little flap up right here, slide that down in there. I actually forgot my wipes, that goes in the front behind my makeup bag. I actually forgot this was actually in the front too. This front, I have a lot in this front, and it's still flatter than it was earlier. Okay, so I always switch things around in these pockets up where I have my power bank in one of these front pockets here. And then I'll have my hand sanitizer and my hand oil lotion in one of these side pockets here. That way if I keep everything out here, then my big stuff can go in the middle and not have a problem. I can add my diffusers to that side pocket where my lotion and everything is. I think I had this in the front pocket here. Easy grabs. This next to my power bank that slides in there nice and flat. All of my wires can slide down in there. My napkins. Put this back on the side for easy access. Sometimes I try to keep my wallet out of the way and I'll slip it down into one of these here pockets. Or actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move this little pouch to this side because this pocket is like pretty uh, wide and I can like grab in there and feel it. That way my wallet has a little bit more room right here. I'm like afraid this piece is gonna pop, but I really just wanna like hang it on something on the inside of this. But I'll probably just put it right here and hopefully I don't forget that it's in that little cubby. Now, I, again, I don't carry this with me all the time, but I just wanna show you guys how this fits perfectly right in this corner here in this little pocket, just like a baby bottle would. And I also wanna demonstrate that being that this is the size of like a can or a water bottle, I actually do have, you know, sometimes I have put my water bottle or something like in the side right here and you can fit it. It's a little bit more snug because this is rough. But also I actually keep a mini umbrella which is a little bit longer than this but it's narrower and I just stick it down in there and it's smooth and it slides right down into it. My glasses case, that can go on the bottom. My eyeshadow palette here. I'm a mom slash blogger and content creator so the main reason I really wanted a nice sturdy cute backpack was I needed to be able to put everything I needed in my life in my bag. So now my blogger mom stuff. So like I said I have my camera so y'all can see kind of like dimensions. How does this fit in this bag? Right? So this actually folds down and this is at its tightest setting like this. So what I do is I just open this up and I tuck it down in here. And you can move it around however you need to. And they're perfectly. So now I, being that I do blog and sometimes I have to create content on the go, I do need to be able to take my laptop with me sometimes and not have a whole bunch of bags and things. So I have a 13 inch MacBook Air and I love this size computer because it's basically like, you know, full size but it fits every it fits in everywhere so i can just slide this back here make sure everything slides down because i like i said i don't usually have this in there so that is a little bit more room but you can see that i have everything in here so if i really needed to and so i still have space as i can see i still have space so if i do bring my computer depending on what time a trip it what type of trip it is uh if it's like one of my day trips and i know that you know I'll need my charger and stuff like that. I have this adorable little Caboodles makeup case. It's, you know, about the same width. Find these at Goodwill and I just figure out what I need to do with them. So I actually carry my supplies for my computer, all white, perfect stuff in here. So I have my Magic Mouse wireless 
Bluetooth mouse for my computer. This one actually is the two. It actually charges with the uh, iPhone, iPad charger. I have my selfie little clip light. I need to get a new one because I keep this one. Yeah, see, it's dead. Yeah guys, that's everything that's in my favorite vegan leather backpack. And like I said, this is from Park and Faith. If you guys want it, it's very affordable with the same quality and durability as regular leather. So yeah, and they have like tons more stuff coming out. This is a great bag for a blogger mom or a mom with a baby. I actually have my girls and my husband carry their own backpacks so that they have everything just like I do. So then I don't have to carry a whole bunch of stuff for them as well because I'm always carrying a bunch of stuff for myself already. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below. Comment down below something that you carry in your bag that maybe I didn't mention or you find useful in your bag. But yeah guys, that's everything for today. Thanks again for watching. Bye!